To follow breaking news out of Plymouth County, the U.S. Geological Survey data shows a 5.5 earthquake hit near Lake Almanor about 420 today. There have been several aftershocks since then. That's right. So far, we aren't hearing any reports of any significant damage, but we've been getting a lot of calls from a lot of you saying that you felt it, and we know we felt it here in downtown Sacramento, right here in our studio. A lot of shaking. It moved our whole set around. We want to bring in Chief Meteorologist Mark Finan. And Mark, there is a fault line there. Yeah, it's called the Almanor Fault. There are a number of faults in, in Plumas County, uh, but the, the main fault goes right down where that peninsula is on the north end of Lake Almanor, if you're familiar with the lake. So 5.5, that was the main earthquake that everybody felt. And it was felt in Sacramento, it was felt in Stockton, El Grove, it was felt in Grass Valley, felt throughout a wide area. But since that main earthquake at 419, since then there have been four to five minor aftershocks. They've been in the 2.5 to 2.8 range, so there may be some minor shaking still going on that you're feeling in Plumas County, but that main earthquake that happened a little bit more than a half an hour ago, 5.5, that's been adjusted to 5.7 at 1.54, and I think now they settle in on, on 5.5. That's right at that level. Between 5.5 is just when you start to get into the possibility of damage. Usually uh, earthquakes lower than 5.5 do a lot of shaking, but not a lot of damage. Once you start getting into the 5.5 to, to 6 range, that's when you do have the possibility of damage. So we'll have to continue to see because this was felt through such a wide area, whether or not there has been any resulting damage through Plumas County or even adjoining counties. Back to you. Thanks, Mark. We're starting to get some uh, pictures in from the event today, the earthquake. And here's some video from Yuba City. And uh, somebody had the presence of mind to whip out their phone. And well, that's a great example there. You can see just uh, they looked for something that was moving and you can see the stained glass in the windows rocking back and forth, kind of like what our lights did here in the studio. Which I have video of. I should probably send that. Yeah, you that. should probably send that I right over. I should so we can show it. That'd be great. Um, John and Elk Grove sent us this video and you can see the lights moving there. Yeah, I'm, yeah, you can see it kind of moving around. It was surprising how long the moving lasted because we've had several earthquakes that we've experienced while live on the air and I gotta say the lights moved more than they ever have before that the lights that are hanging from our ceiling. We're joined on the phone right now by Marissa Hay. She's in Chester and felt the earthquake, uh, Chester, not far from the epicenter. So, Marissa, what was it like for you when it happened? Uh, it, it definitely takes you off guard, that's for sure. Uh, I mean, you, you, the ground underneath you starts rocking and you're like, oh my gosh, it's an earthquake, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, and I'll ask you while we ask somebody else out from your area, wait, how long did it take you to realize, oh my goodness, it's, a, it's an earthquake? Probably two seconds, and yeah. it feels like it lasted for a good six. Uh, yeah, it, it, it was a rocker for sure. I've been in a seven-pointer before, um, and it felt just a little bit less less than that. Yeah, it felt more of a back and forth, side to side, as opposed to an up and down feeling like a roller coaster. Would you agree, Marissa? Yes, I would agree with that. So, anything get broken at the house, or is everything good, or? Uh, so I was at the Timber House restaurant and brewery when it happened, and, you know, we have all kinds of lights hanging and chandeliers, and they were swinging back and forth. Yeah. And then uh, over at the brewery, we have seven-foot windows, and they were just shaking like crazy. And uh, the the bottles on our on our shelves, we had to run to them and push them back on the shelf because they were rocking off of the shelves. And then uh, we went outside and saw that the AstroTurf nails had actually shook up out of the AstroTurf. Oh, wow. Oh, that's yeah, interesting. That is interesting. It was a shaker for sure. Kind of wow. like what they show in the movies. Yeah. When the little nails come up out of the AstroTurf. Right, that's exactly what I thought of. Yeah, it was wild. All right, Marissa, thank you so much. We're glad everyone there is safe and that there were no injuries. We appreciate you calling us. And uh, again, thankfully, there are no major damage. Yeah, we